I started gaining weight when I was like two. By 25, I was about 550 pounds. I'm about to go on my blind date. I'm so nervous. Dating is hard because men, they're just kind of like trash. Being big and beautiful, I just feel like I am fetishized. I'm a goal, like I'm a conquer. I don't wanna have to question myself anymore in my relationship. I don't wanna have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Have you ever dated a plus size woman? Um, no. Was it their weight that stopped it or just you guys just weren't compatible? Um, but we, but. So my look is like, I don't know, I'm very chic and it's cute and it's comfy and I don't have to worry about tugging anything all day. My name is Nina, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm 35 years old and I'm a full-time makeup artist. My mom said I started gaining weight when I was like two. I was 300 pounds by the time I was about 12, 13. I think I graduated high school around almost 400 pounds. By 25, I was about 550 pounds. I want to find love now because I feel like I know it's going to be real. You loved me then, and it's just like, let's ride off into the sunset with my, you know, my BBL and my, <laughs> my flat stomach. Dating is hard because I think men, they're just kind of like trash. When you see a fat person, you automatically think they are lazy, they stink. I go to the gym three, four times a week. I don't eat sugar. I don't, you know, I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. I don't go to fast food. My type aesthetically, um, I like a beard. I like full lips. I like a mysterious guy, but a confident guy. In a perfect world, I would meet him and he would be my type and I would be his type. I'm ready for my blind date. My name is Matthew, I'm 41 years old. I'm from the greater Philadelphia area. I know absolutely nothing about my date. Uh, this is a blind date. So um, I will be surprised uh, anyway. Hi. Hi. My name is Matt. My name is Nina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, okay. I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> I'm always nervous on a date. So how old are you? Pretty good, pretty good. And I said, how old are you? Oh, um, well, I'm good, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 41. Okay, I'm 35. Okay. So what do you do for the day? Um, I work for a court. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting? No. So would you do anything out of work? Um, sadly, no, not really. I, no passion, no nothing? No, not really, no. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a gamer. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's like a, like a stress reliever. Um, <laughs> I don't know nothing about games at all. Um, I just know that guys like to play them. Yeah, I, I used to be in the music. Um, that's passion. Yeah, well, used to. I came a certain age and I kind of, you know, focused on more, I don't know, serious thing. Um, that's something you can still do. See, I'm a, I'm a realist, you know, I'm a realist. I can't, you know, I'm not You're a- not a dreamer. <laughs> I'm a dreamer within reason. I, I can't live with the files. A dreamer yeah. with the reality yeah. sense. Yeah, you can't, I like that. Yeah, okay, because, you know what? You can't be 40 something trying to compete with these younger people. So like, when I say I understand meaning I'm that person, like, you know, like the 41 year old rapper, you know, I, I'm an influencer on social media, but it wasn't because I tried to, it was just because I just influenced because of my size, because of the way that I dress. And I've always been like, not loud, but like, if I'm not loud, my outfit's loud. If I'm not loud, my hair, or my makeup, <laughs> or my tattoos, and I don't know, like, I, I guess I just get attention. Even if I didn't want it, it just happens. My family loved me so much that I actually never really felt the hate until I left the house. My family always, like, told me how beautiful I was, and I was just normal, I guess. And, um, you know, I'm guessing being 300 pounds at, like, 13 wasn't probably the normal, but my family loved me so much, I really didn't pay attention. I was delusionally confident because it's the only way that I could actually get through life. You do not have to be big to go through things in life. Like when they see a fat person like sad outside, they're like, oh, she's probably sad because she's sad. I'm like, I just had a bad, <laughs> sorry. I just had a bad day. Like I wasn't even actually thinking about my weight right now, but damn, like, but I feel like when you see sad fat people, it's like, you assume oh, that's why they're sad. Poor thing, she probably just wants to lose weight. Like, no, you do, leave me alone. <laughs> like, can I go to the bathroom real quick? Uh, certainly. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. I think the day is going good. I think he's a little nervous. So um, I guess that's kind of like knocking my nerves out of it. Am I attracted to Matthew? Mm, he's a little different from my type. Um, I think he's handsome. Hello. So, 
I have a question because I always ask this. Have you ever dated a plus size woman? Um, no. So I now so I mean I, I have been on dates mm-hmm. um with, with plus size women, but I have never like Oh got into a relationship yes, with them. Okay, 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 yes. okay. But you have been on dates with them? Yes. Was it their weight that stopped it or just you guys just weren't compatible? Um I think we weren't compatible. You weren't compatible. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. No, I get that. I get but that. I I feel like that when I meet that person who gets me, I'll know it. And that's what yeah. I'm waiting for. He's like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if you're a little jaded, you're not going to like allow somebody to get to know you. Subconsciously, you probably don't even know you're doing it. I'm just saying, though, I feel well, like you if... Know, I'm, a, I'm a very private person. Um, and, you know, I don't feel that uh, most people would like deserve to fully know me. Some people are so guarded that they even jump in relationships with people and truly won't expose who they truly are, but then get mad when the relationship doesn't work. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, it's not going to work because I you're not telling me who you are. Right. So I can't understand you if I don't know who fully, you are. Yeah, right. For the person fully reveals himself. I am an open book for the most part. I am. I have a lot of different sides of me and not all not all of it's on Instagram, but most of it, I'm, pretty, I'm an open, I'm an open book. Well, so I'm not trying to change the subject, but as a plus size woman, do you, have you had struggles with dating? Mm-hmm. Have I been on dates? Yes, but I feel like for me, I've never been on that like traditional, like the man picks you up, he like sets the whole date, he has like the movie, the dinner. I think the biggest thing is like uh, not being a fetish, especially when I was 550 pounds. Like I knew at that point it was literally just sex. Like literally it was just guys coming to my mom's house to have sex with me, we never went out. Like. I'm linking up and I'm drunk and you know, you're coming over and we're having sex. We're never going out with each other. I really want that fairy tale. I want that like the man that comes in and like, you know, the stuff that I can't figure out, he figures it out for me. That person I could like take on life with, like everything that happens in my life, I want him to be like right by my side. I don't want to have to question myself anymore in my relationship. I don't want to have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Okay, wow, that's that's shed some light on some things that I didn't, you know, I didn't know or understand. So wow. a lot of people don't, and I think some people don't live in that world. Some people see me and think nothing. I'm just another norm, normal human being. But for one of you, it's a thousand that do. Like, of course, you know, I, I do have a big personality. But also, with that being said, like with social media, is like they get it 24 seven, and then people meet me and they're like, oh, like, you're pretty calm, and I'm like, I'm not big sexy 24 seven. Like I'm Nina. Like, right. Is your social media? Is your um like your podcast? Like is that like your primary like you know like job? No, I'm a full time makeup artist. Okay. Oh yeah, let me just talk. About, I'm a full time makeup artist. Okay. I was always like the fashionista in my friend group, and it just trickled into like doing their makeup, and then it just kind of snowballed because um when I moved back to Philly, I started doing social media more. I started doing more with fashion and makeup. And it just snowballed. It's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. My work and my personality, everything kind of all ties into why I think I'm so successful at this. Well, Nina, I had a, I had a really great time. I really did have a good time. I enjoyed meeting you. Good me. conversation. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's go. I think the date went well. Um, I like that even if it doesn't go past this, I think I opened him up to like things that he never knew, never thought about. Overall, I think it went well. Um, I, I was comfortable. Um, we had good conversation. Do you guys think you'll see each other again? I would be down to go out to dinner again. I think you're a good conversationalist. Um, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was good, good company. Can't pass up a good company and a bite. I have broke so many barriers being my size. It's hard, but um, for the most part, I really push through. You only got one life and I'm living the hell out of mine. <laughs>